Good morning. It is Tuesday, the 30th of June, I believe. And today would be technically the last day of the 30 day challenge. If you've been watching me, you know that we've been traveling for the past three weeks now and so I had a really successful first week of the 30 day challenge and I lost five pounds then and then we got on the road and so as I've been keeping it keto this entire time on the road I haven't been keeping it super super strict keto I had been doing really good in the beginning with uh, tracking all of my food and putting it in my app and making sure I close those exercise rings and for the past week now I've just been kind of not doing that so yesterday last night we decided Caesar decided to make it a cheat day and he'd been following the entire 30 days with me so that was good and it's his first time ever doing keto so he decided to venture off and have a cheat meal last night and he had some fish and chips while we're here in Washington and I stayed the course I ordered the salmon salad but last night we decided to come back to the RV park relax and he had some beer and I had a bottle of wine I drank that whole Sauvignon Blanc that I bought and what happens and I realized that drinking not necessarily throws your diet off your your lifestyle off throws your progress off it doesn't make you gain weight it makes you make bad decisions so like last night we weren't hungry we were munchy and so we're taking out the pork rinds with hot sauce and we're pulling out the pepperoni slices that I bought with cheese and we just started snacking just because we were already at the bottom of our bottles <laughs> and that's what you know decisions we made it, it wasn't hungry and I was realizing as I'm trying to remember how I'm feeling at the moments of food intake if I'm hungry or not and usually like I kind of not like on a scale of 1 to 10 maybe I'm a 2 or a 3 you know and it'd be nice if I was a 5 where I'm somewhat hungry but I mean, it should be where I'm at like at a nine. I, you don't want to be at a 10 or plus because then you're so hangry that you'll eat anything and you don't care about anything. So I don't want to be a 10 or 12, but if I could be anywhere between a seven and a nine, that would be nice. But usually it's like a one or a two where it's like, I'm just eating because it's time or I feel like something crunchy or this looks good right now and so not making the best decisions but I'm trying uh, we are gonna head into Olympic National Park I did not charge my watch last night which I was supposed to so it's charging now and hopefully I get a full charge by the time we head out non-scale victory though these pants that I'm wearing I don't think you can see them Let's see how far I can go back So they're not fitting as tight and fitted as they once were when I first bought them. So I guess that's a non-scale victory. That's a plus. That means I didn't maybe gain weight on this trip, but if I have maintained or lost, that would be success for me. So we'll find out when we get back. And this trip is still going. I mean, we still have maybe two more weeks left of you know, because we have a lot to see on our way back home. Uh, we do want to stop at Yellowstone as well. So. Lots to do, but today we're gonna go into Seattle. I've always wanted to check out Seattle. I'm definitely gonna have a coffee somewhere, maybe at Starbucks. Maybe at Starbucks since uh, Seattle is the home of Starbucks. Uh, but we may go to the fish market and see them toss fish around. I'm not sure, I've always just wanted to check out Seattle. Now that we are really close, I'd hate to not really go into Seattle. So this morning, I have not, I took my medication, but I forgot to take my blood pressure and I've already had my cup of coffee. So, um, 
I'll take my blood pressure before we leave. And this morning I had my coffee with collagen in it. I'm not really hungry. I'm not sure if I should grab a Quest bar because I know we're going to be out and about all day long. I'm really leaning on those Quest bars and I'm kind of using it as like a meal replacement or my breakfast or something. Um, mainly because if I'm not hungry at the time everybody's eating, I don't want to be caught on the road starving and, you know, getting all upset and there's nothing I can do about eating if we're doing that so and making bad decisions because if I get hungry and everybody pulls over for lunch I may just have an effort attitude and be like I don't care oh keto shmito give me whatever I want because I'm starving luckily I haven't been like that this entire 11 months of doing keto I've yet to cheat I have never planned a cheat day in these 11 months I only had that one accidental cheat where I accidentally put a bun on my burger and that was a couple of months ago but I have yet to consciously say today I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna be okay with it I know that that's healthy I know that people allow themselves to do that I know there's other people that don't think you should do that at all long keto I'm kind of the mindset of I know myself if I cheat I might f fly off the rails so going into that is helping me like okay if you do decide to have a cheat meal meal then make sure it's just a meal and not a day or a weekend or a week or a month the next thing you know you've gained back all of your weight so that's where I'm at <laughs> if I cheat I'll let you know I do want to say that the weather here is fantastic it is gonna be in the 60s all day long and I believe in the Seattle area it's gonna be cloudy and this is just gorgeous I gotta turn you around so you can see It's a beautiful day. These trees are just beautiful. It's a beautiful background. I'm excited to check out what today has to offer. I could probably spend a lot of time out here in the Seattle area in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, I took my medicine about two hours ago and it is 131 over 78. That's probably the best reading I've Very had good. on this whole trip. <laughs> All right, let's try this quest bar. It is almost 11. It's really good. Yeah. Those trees are pretty cool. pull over real quick because this beautiful lake is right here. I want to make sure I get a little bit of it. It's gorgeous.
beautiful. Uh, that there was a beach and other kids were down here, so of course they wanted to explore. Gotta let them. This is what it's for, right? <laughs> Look at this water is incredible. This whole trip, I feel like I've been saying the same thing. It's beautiful and it's incredible. Boo, Copper can't go down this trail. So Caesar has to stay with him up here. It's a beautiful view then. Staircase trail head. So you are here. Oh my goodness, this is Oh, staircase loop trail and the staircase rapids. It's so gray here. <laughs> Cloudy and rainy. It's not rainy, but. Guys, look. So today was a total bust. The plan was to go to Seattle to check out the city of Seattle. We we're gonna go down to Pike's, Pike's Market or something uh, to see them throw the fish and do all of that. And then we were gonna get some famous lobster rolls or clam chowder uh, downtown Seattle. The problem is, is the fish market was closed and there was not, I mean, it was congested, not a lot of parking for the truck and just kind of, you know, the way downtowns are is like a one way this way and a one way that way. So we just were getting frustrated. We had didn't eat breakfast. We didn't eat lunch. Uh, well, not all of us ate breakfast uh, and we didn't eat lunch. We had just finished checking out uh, Olympia, Olympic National Park. And um, we were hungry, but we decided to go ahead and wait until we got to Seattle so we can have all of this. Well, the problem is that it was a two-hour drive just to get to Seattle. And it was only like 60 miles or 80 miles from where we were. So two hours to get there. Nightmare downtown. Everybody hangry. It's already like 4 o'clock and everybody's just ready to eat. And so instead of getting a seafood place because the kids don't like seafood or getting the lobster rolls that we wanted. We ended up at the only place that had a, the only place we found that had a patio uh, because we had copper with us. So we ended up eating at Red Robin. So the whole experience was a bust. We went all that way for nothing, basically. We just got back, it's eight o'clock. I'm super sleepy and tired and I wanted to stop and get a coffee but they were all closed. <sighs> so, I may just go to bed early. Daylight is still 
happening outside, but, um, or maybe just lay down for a bit. I don't know. I don't know. This day did not leave me satisfied. Hmm. Maybe tomorrow is a new one. We'll be heading into Oregon tomorrow. Um, so that's good. <laughs> I think I'm done. Bye guys.